Hello guys and welcome to the second part of the review video for the Resurrection ROM build 6.8 and in this part we have flashed the X Anwar kernel on top of the Resurrection ROM build 6.8 and this does solve a few things especially the battery drain it's completely gone now okay so as an example I'll just show you in uh, CPU spy okay so as you can see that's a whole lot of okay so those are bright colors as you can see the deep sleep is for around 12 and a half hours, whereas the CPU usage is just 633 megahertz. So the XANWAR kernel not only overclocks the top speed or the top CPU speed, but it also underclocks the lowest speed to 633 megahertz from 800 megahertz. So it does help in battery life. As you can see, it's 70%. I charged it to 77% last night and it's still at 70%. It went down just 3% throughout the night as you can see if I go to cell standby as you can see the time on is 13 hours 26 minutes and 49 seconds which is quite nice the screen on time I haven't tested much because I haven't used much of the phone I wanted to see how the deep sleep worked so the screen on times has not been that great as far okay so I'll put up more screenshots on the Facebook page as we move on and continue testing this new ROM so then one thing that this solves is of course the battery drain and the next thing would be of course the Wi-Fi so the Wi-Fi used to freeze out every time you switch on and switch off but now it works very well as you can see I can switch on and switch off as many times as I want and you won't have to reboot or you won't have to face a screen freeze while turning on and off Wi-Fi so another bug that has been present and has been noted out to me by many users from the Facebook page is that if you head into SIM cards and if you change SIM settings and change your preferred network type to 2G, you will get some random screen locks like it used to be in CyanogenMod 12.1 ROM. So there's no way around uh, that right now. So all you can do is select your preferred network type to 3G and it won't happen at all. So the locks happen only when you change the preferred network type to 2G and there's no workaround right now you can wait for the part 3 where I will tie out some builds or the kernels from some older builds and it might solve that issue and the video is coming up tomorrow so right now there's no way out and this still is still present even when on the X Anwar kernel so that's a bug that we cannot fix right now Okay, so if you go down in the settings menu, you will see the gestures, which is a part of the X Anwar kernel. Probably a lot of you have already used it and know. So there is the ambient display where the display will light up with you very dimly, of course, to show you the notifications when you have incoming notifications, which is pretty useful. Again, the last thing before we end this video of part two is that a new build of the sign of the lollipop stock rom is out and the link will be up on the facebook page and on the website and i'll review it as soon as i have finished reviewing the resurrection rom build 6.8 so thank you guys for watching this video and this is a pretty stable rom and if you install the x anwar kernel it's now very stable it has no battery drain as of now the wi-fi works the only thing that doesn't work right now in my opinion would be the gps the fm and the 2g sim card networks so if you don't need any three of those, you are pretty good to go and install this ROM and use it as your daily driver. So thank you guys for watching this video and I'll see you guys in the part three, which is coming out tomorrow, which will have the resurrection ROM along with the vital kernel and with the build 6.5 or the 6.2 kernel. So another thing that I forgot to mention in the video is that, of course, there are no call freezes on our end and our unit did not have any call freezes as such. Even when it was an incoming call or whether it is an outgoing call, whether I was disconnecting it from the other end or whether I was disconnecting it from my end. And there were no call freezes as such, even on the X Anwar kernel or even on the normal R6.8 build without any custom kernels. So I cannot show it on video due to some privacy issues because the phone numbers will be displayed. But besides that, you have to take my word for it as we did not face any screen freezes even after calls. But if you are facing some screen freezes after calls, you can try uh, flashing the kernel from build 6.5, the link for which will be down in the description below. You can try flashing that kernel and hopefully that might get fixed. So. If you are having call freezes still now, even on build 6.8 and even after flashing the X Anwar kernel, you can just head over and flash the 
build 6.5 kernel and you might get no call freezes so that's all from this video and thank you guys for watching this video and i'll see you guys in the next one